Hello, my name is Penchen, and one year ago I decided to become game designer. I started by making small demos during the time I got a job offer from Taomi, a mobile game company. I started off designing the plot line of characters using plot editing tools in Unity, and then I was assigned to work on game assets design for the game. Later on, I was leading a team designing the events for the game. I designed the multiple games events which are highly attractive to the players. This working experience allowed me to improve my design skill, team leadership, and strengthen my interest in game design. Working as a game designer, I decided to build a game entirely on my own. After months of work, Body Carrier was born. This is a story about an apprentice of Body Carrier Group who accepted a quest and tries to accomplish his mission. I have challenged myself to create something completely new for me. A game made by Unreal Engine, which I have never used before. In this game, I want to show the connection between life and death. It is a combination of horror and a puzzle quest. I made an entire world with blueprint. This gave me the opportunities to get familiar with the engine and the blueprint logic behind the game. In the game, the player will encounter different types of enemy, which will keep him in tension. While he is trying to deliver the body to the correct location, players will have to interact with the body, using the dead body to trigger some traps or open up a shortcut. As the game progresses, players will gain the ability to attack. Besides using it to encounter with the enemies, the attack ability can also be used to solve puzzles by hitting the correct trigger. I don't want to design the puzzle to be too difficult, so the triggers on the maps are actually highlighted and easy to draw attention. There are many traps designed to interact with the body. Players need to use them as a way so the traps can open up a shortcut. They will need to come back to gather the body, just like forming a loop. The level will repeatedly train the players to use the body properly, and also require players to combine the new abilities they gained. This will give players large satisfaction to conquer the challenge after they learned from the previous experience. In this example, in order to progress, players need to pass the level with maps filled with this invisible enemy. The color of the enemy will easily remind player of danger. Players will not be able to attack the enemy unless they found a hidden relic inside the huts. It was not necessary to get the relic since the players can observe the path of the enemy and find a way to dodge them. But finding the relic will give players lots of excitement and surprise. It will give players the ability to reveal the true form of enemy, make them attackable. To find a relic, players can get clues from the letters inside the small huts. This level design is intended to faster the pacing of the game by introducing players with a new mechanism. After players got bored with the previous puzzle solutions, a new type of mechanism introduced can quickly refresh their attention, which also makes the level memorable. Finally, my work still has a lot to improve. I hope through my further study and research on game design journey, I could build the perfect games in my mind and share it with others. Thank you very much for watching this.